Hello everybody, this is Karina Kosher Bat. Today I'm going to show you a few tips and tricks to improve your droid and clone army. First, let's start with the droids. Alright, so tip number one for the droid army. I don't have many droids, but try to improve your droids. Like, you can add all kinds of things. For instance, I'm going to add a stud shooter. They're common in, they were, they're common in backpack, battle packs when he made a few years ago. Add them on your droids to make them a jet trooper. Add a pistol to make it like a little more authentic and lighter for the droids to use. Yes, but here's a jet trooper in action. You can add multiple jet troopers in your army. And it does make your droids look a little more cooler. And gives them the aerial advantage. Let me just put this on quickly. Yes, yeah, so we have two jet, jet troopers right over here. Next is to add like a scout for your army, like a probe droid. Okay, so I I have a really simple model. It's only need using three pieces. To make a scout droid, you need this piece right here and this one right here. There you have a basic scout droid, and you can add all kinds of attachments like a silencer or a rapid fire muzzle to give your droid a little more personality. It's kind of hard to do this while holding your phone, so here's a finished product. We'll put them with the army. And the last tip for the droid army, well not the last tip, but like sec closest to last, is to add a separatist leader. Basically, somebody with a red lightsaber, you can add them to your droid army. It doesn't matter which timeline they're from, just make sure they have a red lightsaber. Even though the droids only existed in one of the timelines, but any character with a red lightsaber works. Or you can create your own Sith, so yeah. Add them to your droid army. The last tip. If you have any figures from like other series, like this one from Jurassic World, add a bounty onto your army. So we'll just add a figure, grab them a blast door, or make one customly, and boom, there you have it. Check how to make custom blasters on another video on my channel, so yeah. I'm just going to give this guy a knife. Okay, I can't really give him a knife while I'm on the camera, so please be a little patient. Um, take a look at the Death Star for a quick second, okay? Because um, it's I really don't have the, the proper technology to do this. Make, give him like a handmade knife like this. A tip for both armies actually is to use any extra containers you have and turn them into ships. Like I use these um small like so these containers as fighters. These are transports. This is a command ship and two cruisers basically. For any extra characters, extra. And then you drop to ships and bases and stuff. Just to add a little more decor to the battle. Now for the clones and Jedi. Alright, so as you can see here, I don't have many clones. But step one is to basically customize a weapon like this. Like add a, like one or two pieces to it. To make it look a lot cooler. Like, this one has like a rapid fire muscle. I call those my rapid fire muzzles. Okay, this is how it used to look a sniper. And now it looks completely different. Like a rapid fire weapon. And another tip is to add um, good, like, Jedi people who are not wielding um, red lightsabers, basically. So here are a few Jedi you can add. And another tip if you're low on clone troopers, but you have a lot of p characters like stormtroopers and snow troopers, like this guy, you can just add them to the army. Just don't take their helmets off because um, they don't have the face a clone would have, so. Yeah, just add a couple of those to your army, and boom, now you're ready for a battle. Although, first equip your characters with a blaster, so. So yeah, that's basically my tutorial on the army. And this is Commander Kostrabat, signing out.